Hey guys, Colorado Inskiller here. Uh, yeah, I'm finally back. After two month long vacation. Uh, yeah, back at it. So, before the video begins, just a little update on the, uh, the upload schedule. I'm thinking that because some stuff that was originally gonna happen is not gonna happen anymore, uh, I might be able to change my upload schedule to potentially accommodate maybe two videos per week. That might happen, it might not, who knows, we still have to see what's going on. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. So today's video is about the Kato Alco PA1. And this claimer that these are, I think these are the first release of Kato's PAs, because I know they made two releases, I think this might be the older one, but I'm not entirely sure, so. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna say it's the older one because it has the Buckeye cobblers. Now, getting to the model. These models are, I have the A and B unit. Both are powered, they both have great pulling power. They, they're both pretty heavy actually. Both metal die cast frames enclosed in the motor. It's the two halves, split chassis, that stuff. Pretty common. Starting in the front, let's zoom in. We have where, I mean, on this model it doesn't have it because it has the road number just plastered on the side, but the road, uh, the road number areas are blanked out because it doesn't need it. It has marker lights, or no, those are class lights, pretty sure, which denote the, the train, what it is. You have up front, you have the nice Santa Fe a cigar band, you have the two working headlights, you have some molded in handrails, some steps, and on the nose there's really not much to see. Up top here, I'm not sure what to call this, so I'm going to call this the eyebrow, but this is painted, and if actually, if anybody knows what this is, please let me know, because it just is there. Um, Going back here, you have windshield wipers. You have a door, you have some molded in grab irons, a nice handle, some rivet detail, some steps. Moving on to the trucks, look nice and detailed. Not a lot of separately applied stuff. I think the only separately applied stuff is the horns, but it still looks good. Kato has a way of doing that. Let's move it up a little bit and level the camera. All right, going down the body, you have the road number, 71. You have some another door, more molded in, handrails and grab irons. You have some steps, you have your fuel tank down here, and you have a nice Santa Fe Super Chief logo, another Santa Fe logo, you have the yellow, Red striping, love that. You have not not see through uh, vents, but they they look they look good and has that nice chrome effect on it. That does kind of reflect some stuff. Although I'm not sure if that's gonna pick it up on the video. Um, let's see. Let's go on the top. On the top, you have your separately applied horns. You have more of the striping, you have some of the knickknacks, I'm not sure what they are. You have the exhaust, looks like to be a radio antenna or something. You have your exhaust fan, which actually does have fan blades. You have some more stuff, some more rivet detail. Alright, let's move on to the B unit. The B unit is not that much different from the A unit, other than it doesn't have a cab. So. Let's see. Starting in front, you have some nice detail in there. It looks like you have a little bit of a diaphragm, not operating. You have some molded in grab irons. Same on the other side of this. Uh, up top, basically the same except for no cab. Has all the same features and everything. So, for today's train, I have gotten my Super Chief passenger cars, 
And we're gonna do that. We're gonna run it with those. And the Kato, the Kato Knuckle Couplers and the Buckeye Couplers are a little bit strange. They usually do work, but sometimes they'll derail at random intervals. So, we're gonna move this train around real quick, just so we can see the crawl of these locomotives. Speed it up so it goes a lot faster. Alright, so for testing the crawl, I'm gonna do a running start, so I'll just slowly decrease the throttle and see how slow we can get it to go, and then I'll do it from a stop. That is a pretty good crawl. Pretty smooth, pretty quiet. Alright, we'll do one from a stop. A little bit jerky, but still pretty good. All right, let's just get some running in. Ignore that phone. But overall, this model is a... Uh, I love it. It's really nice detail, it looks great, it runs great, has good features. Overall, it's a good model. I mean, if you have a little bit more money, sure, you can go buy Broadway Limited. But, this is great. This is all I need. I mean, sure, I would appreciate a Broadway Limited one, but these are awesome. Some of my favorite models in my collection. some more high speed. Alright, we'll do a couple more passes and then we'll call it a video. We'll do a low speed pass. Alright, I think that will about wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching, I know it's been a while. Hope to be uploading more frequently now that I'm not going places, but yeah, see you in the next one.